Hello friends, welcome to this session of learning R programming. In this session, we will learn how to plot a bar plot which will show data distribution also. Bar plots are often accused of hiding information, hiding the uh, underlying distribution of the data. And in the paper by Weisberger, this is shown very clearly. These four distributions are there. One is symmetric distribution. One uh, data set has the outlier. In other one, bimodal uh, data is there. In fourth one, unequal sample size is there. But for all these four different data, which are different by statistical tests also, bar plots are the same. If we overlay these points over the bars, then this accusation, accusation can be removed. We'll show the distribution as well as the bar plot. We'll go for that. I will go to R and we'll create data first. A will be the first level in a categorical variable. And for that, I will use R norm to get randomly selected normally distributed numbers, 25 numbers I want with mean 5 and standard deviation is equal to 0.3. B level is there and in that again I will go for R norm 25 numbers this time mean will be 6 I want to keep the groups different standard deviation will be again the same standard deviation 0 0.3 will run that uh, now for this I want to create a, a name vector where names of these categories will be there this is again the categorical vector group there I will use the replicate function to replicate letters 1 to 2 means A and B and those letters will be replicated each 25 times. And for these two I will use the values where I add this A and B, A and B. Now our vectors are ready to add in data frame and data frame we are using because it is an input for ggplot2 which we are going to use for plotting data dot frame and there we want to add this group and values and we'll run that and when we see the data frame we'll see this one categorical variable is there and other numeric variable is there and for this now we will plot the bar plot but to plot bar plot we require the summarized data summary data here we are going to plot mean of group a and mean of group b and we need to calculate that for calculation i am going to use uh, functions from the package deplier therefore i am calling the library deplier and for that you need to have package deplier installed on your system and if not installed go for the tools install packages and install that uh, through the install package menu and here you can type package name and click install package will get installed i have installed therefore i will not install it again and uh, here error is there in this library because this y is capital i will make it small and we'll run that library deplier is there for us this df sum will be the data frame where our summarized data will be there and the df will be the input i'm using the pipe to pipe this data frame into next function that next function is group by we are going to group by this categorical variable group i am typing that name here group and then we'll summarize by using the summarize function and in the summarize function mean value is equal to mean of values and SD value standard deviation we are calculating standard deviation for error bars values and we'll run that and we'll see the uh, summarized data and here you can see these main values this will be height of our bars and the standard deviation values this will be uh, for the uh, plotting error bars uh, but before that we'll see whether the data is really different or not just by visualizing we'll use the box plot function of base r for that and group will be the uh, values will be plotted against their group and we'll see that box plot here 
and these boxes are really different than each other. Uh, we'll see that using the t-test also. t-test is more appropriate here because uh, data is normally distributed and uh, 25 values, the less than 30 values are there in each vector. That again the same formula we are going to use for box uh, t-test also. I will run that and you can see here the p-value is very less, less than uh, 0.05 and our uh, hypothesized difference 0 between these two means is also not there in the confidence interval. Therefore, we can say that the data is statistically significantly different between these two groups and that we are going to show by bar plot now and for that I will call the library ggplot2 because ggplot functions comes from ggplot ggplot2 library ggplot the first argument for ggplot function is the data frame that df sum we are going to use summarize data frame then aesthetic mapping aes x axis will be group y axis will be values and we'll add the geom we'll not get plot until we add the geom therefore we'll add geom and geom call for uh, bars okay we'll run that and we'll see here uh, this values is uh, wrong here in df sum values is not there uh, there this mean v is there i will just change this uh, y variable from values to mean v and we'll run that and here bars are there okay. on these bars are we'll overlay error bars now using the geom error bar function and this geom error bar again require the data uh, AES, not data, AES, because data is there in this uh, ggplot function, that AES, uh, y mean will be there, y mean is equal to mean v minus y mean, mean v minus sd value, sd v, and uh, y max is equal to mean v plus sd v. We will run that to see the error bars. Error bars are there and these are quite wide. We will control their width. Width is equal to 0 0.1 I will give and I will make those little thick also by using size is equal to 1. And these thicker error bars are there. Now on these error bars we will overlay the uh, distribution now and this is the USP of this uh, session now plus and we are going to use geom jitter for that and the points which we are going to overlap are coming from a different data the original data df therefore we'll add that data here data argument data is equal to df and we require to specify this argument name because we are not using these arguments in the order of uh, prescribed for geom jitter therefore we are using their name and here we will use the mapping is equal to aesthetic mapping x axis will be group and y axis will be values now because this values vector is there in geom uh, the in data df and uh, we'll run that those points are there will this uh, jittering is quite uh, wide there we want to control this jittering and what this jittering is in jittering it add a random number uh, in the x value so that those points will get separated from each other and overlap will not be there okay. but jittering will not do anything to the y y axis y values and therefore we'll see the distribution on the y axis and here i will use the position argument to adjust the jittering and Position jitter is the option we are going to use and there width is equal to uh, 0 0.2 uh, will be sufficient for that. Now these points are overlapping or masking the error bar. To avoid that we will add transparency to it alpha is equal to 0 0.3 and we will run that transparent points are there uh, I can play with the size also size is equal to 2 so that those points will be slightly larger and this alpha I will increase to make those more visible 
Okay. Now, uh, the bar plot is showing this data distribution also, these error bars are also there, then uh, these uh, bars are also there. If you want to change color of these bars, then you can go here and change the fill attribute, fill is equal to, there I'll use a vector of color, the first one for uh, the first bar and second color will be white for the second bar. We'll run that and this white bar is there but it doesn't have any border therefore it's not visible. We'll just add, specify the color attribute, color is equal to gray 20, it will be a little darker outline. Yeah. Now if you see here, we can uh, still uh, customize these bars also, I will just attach those bars together using the width is equal to one argument and those bars got attached. Now these bars are not starting from zero if you see here and for that we will uh, add another specification to our plot and that is uh, scale underscore y continuous and there we will have expand is equal to c 0 0 and we will run that somewhere yeah, here equal is there we have to make it plus and we will run the code again and these bars have started from 0 but if you see here uh, these points have got beyond the plot limit. To bring those within the plot limit, we'll again add one more argument that is expand now. Little confusing, but if you go uh, uh, one line by one line, if you uh, specify one attribute by one attribute, single attribute at a time, then you'll understand this code easily. And here I will have the expand y is equal to c 0 to uh, 6.8 or something I will specify there. Yeah, it's expand limits function, expand limits and we'll run that again. Uh, that 6.8 is also not sufficient. We'll make that C7 or 7.5 will see the effect. Yeah, uh, 7.5 is sufficient. This, uh, bars are showing distribution along with the error points also. If you run this code again, this jitter will change because at each time it will adjust those that jittering. Okay. Error bars are there. A little alpha change will do with the bars so that those points are a little more visible. 0 0.6 alpha I will use there for column and those points are little more visible. People like to add uh, those uh, significant uh, information about uh, statistical significance also. We, uh, most people prefer to use letters, different letters for statistically different groups. And here we are going to use that uh, using the geom text, geom underscore text. And uh, this aesthetic it will take from uh, ggplot function. Here we will use the label aesthetic only. Label is equal to C, C and D. Different letters signify statistically different groups. And uh, we'll run that. But these alphabets are getting masked or uh, getting crowded in the uh, data points. Therefore, we'll just adjust their vertical position. V just is equal to minus 0 0.3. Those will go little up. Vertical adjustment is to uh, move up uh, these points up and down and I have moved that up by using the negative sign. We will run that and that minus shall not be there. I will run that again and those points are moved little up but again the horizontal adjustment is required. It just is equal to minus uh, 1.5 I will keep here so that those points will get shifted to right. But little overlap is still there. I will make that 2 and we'll run that. Overlap got removed. If you still want to 
uh, try again run the code the jittering will be different and those points are not overlapping uh, the these letters are not overlapping these points right? now we'll adjust the theme also to make this look more elegant we'll run that that theme classic has made this plot look like this we can change these labels also x axis label y axis label to make this plot more informative and this is how we can overlay data distribution over the uh, summary which is being shown by the bar plot to avoid the uh, hiding the data uh, do practice plotting data watch keep watching my videos if you like these videos please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe my channel if you are not subscribed to it yet thanks thanks for watching